You're watching Drake Wing Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys and gals, never here from Drake Wing Gaming. It's something about Twitter, the gaming drag today. I'm coming back at you with a Let's Play episode of After Class, Anders Path. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump right back into it, shall we? Alarm chain, you were up, and let's go. All right. <clears throat> God, I should just stick with my gut. Sorry, guys, I already said I'd eat with Anders. I don't want to weird him out. How will we weird him out, exactly? I'm sure he'd tell you without holding back, so you can ask him yourself. Dodging the question, eh? Fine, it's clear what you want to do. We can always do it later. I'll eat lunch with you, Mr. Stone. Really? That'd be nice. Thank you. Don't mention it. Anyway, Walter, I'll be at the local playground if you want to hang out later. Why the playground? Because. Just one moment. You checked your phone and saw that Mark sent the location to your map. If you'd rather, I'll be at the park. Well, you already know how to get there, right? Mm-hmm. Does Mr. Parker have a problem with phones, maybe? Well, cool. Not sure what my plans are yet, so maybe I'll get back to you guys. Cool. See you later. I still can't really figure him out. He headed over to the cafeteria, cooking up theories about Mark's intentions. Ah, I should get going, too. Andrews will be waiting. What is that on the top of the screen? Okay, okay. Once you got to the cafeteria, your sight lock onto Mark and Mr. Parker are already sitting together, several plates of food in front of them. Mr. Parker eats a lot too, huh? Maybe he and Anders would get along. Speaking of, rather than seeing a similar pile of food, you saw Anders standing over some papers and making a tired face. He looked to be wholly focused on them. Once you got your food, you sat next to him without feeling the need to ask. Good to see you again! Hmm? Isn't that what people say after they're gone for a while? It's only been a little over an hour, but okay. <clears throat> it's nice to hear, though. Hmm? <clears throat> so, how was class? A little weird, actually, right after you left, uh... And you told him about your class for the day. He explained what happened between you and Mark. He explained how you came to understand each other better, or at least you wanted to think that was the case. And you explained the, push the pushy lunch invitations. Sounds like you had a rough time. Sorry to hear that. So, you and Mark really are fine now. Yeah, it wasn't a good moment for either of us. We actually learned a little about each other, too, so it wasn't all for nothing. That's good. Anders quickly looked down at his papers after saying that, but you didn't think anything of it. Mm-hmm. Anyway, what you got there? Post lab write-ups. Making sure I got the details right. Oh, right, you're taking chemistry. This stuff looks difficult. Eh, it's mostly memorizing the properties of elements and a little math. Yeah, math. Heh, <laughs> math is nothing to be scared of. Doesn't mean I'll suddenly understand it. If you take a math class later in the year, I can help you if you'd like. That'd be great. Is it gonna? Is it going well then? Pretty good. Won't take too long to finish up. I see. That's good. Any reason you're not eating lunch? I ate before you got here. Class ended early. Professor had errands to run. The practical side of the lab we're doing is done. Anyway. There you go. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. Okay. Oh, that's good. Eh, sure. It just means we get more time to make sure we weren't doing nothing, doing something wrong. I'd call that good. Hooray! Hmm? Man, conversations run dry between us pretty fast. Maybe I should pick his brain about something. Oh, hey, we're here right now. We can talk about the project a little. <clears throat> I can't be here too much longer. Plus, this conversation is distracting me from finishing up here. Oh, ah, sorry. It's fine. It just means we won't have time to discuss much. Even if we did, I don't want to write unrelated notes on these papers. Oh, no. No loose leaf no loose leaf paper with you or anything. Not today. I tend to just pay attention to the lecture itself in class, so I don't need it too often anyway. I absorb everything better that way. For that matter, I only use, leaf, only use, only use loose leaf in school to write something down if I need to get all the details about something exactly right. And since this is a major project where I, where I would need to do that... Just wait until later? Wait until later. Sorry. It's alright. And hey, there's one thing we can do right now. There is? Of course. Decide on what song we want to research. Oh, right. I glossed over that bit. Maybe I'm out of it. Sounds like something I would do. Anyway, what kind of music do you like? Future funk. Future funk? I take it you're not familiar. Not at all. Fair. It's a bit niche. Well, what kind of music do you like? A vocal droid. Vocal what now? In Vocaloid? <laughs> Wait, that sounds familiar. Uh, Miss Liz mentioned it in class yesterday. Oh, right, right, the singing robots. Was he not paying attention, or...? 
Maybe he did just forget. Well, not like it matters. I guess we are, uh, we'll get into all that later. <laughs> yep. I see you went for a veggie lunch again. It's tasty stuff. It's good to switch things up here and there. Eating chicken all the time would be great, but not exactly healthy. Well, there are worse meats to eat, so long as it's not beef and you're not in a bad, you're not in such a bad way. Ah, yeah, I figured uh, you wouldn't be comfortable with beef eating at the very least. Yeah, that's the one food I just can't stomach. Well, that and maybe anchovies. I tend to avoid meat in general, but it's tasty from time to time. You don't have to feel like you can't eat it around me or anything. In case you were thinking that. Ah, actually, yeah, thanks for saying so. I didn't want to make you uncomfortable. I probably still won't eat beef around him, though. Appreciate it. Veggies are tastier anyway. Huh, <laughs> can't say I quite agree, but I can respect that. Anyway, it's a shame we can't meet up later today. We can't? You said you're working, longer shifts and all that. Well, you can drop by Bublix if you like, my manager wouldn't mind. You don't have to, and if you don't want to feel like you... And, but I don't want you to feel like we can't meet up at all. Huh, okay, I'll think about it. Okay. I don't want to bother you at work, though, and I've gone to Bublix two days in a row already. But I didn't exactly stock up my fridge, on the other hand. Oh, I don't know. I'll show up if nothing else comes up. Alright, no pressure. But I'll, it'll rain later today, so if you go, don't linger outside for too long beforehand. Rain, huh? And me without an umbrella. I'm getting deja vu suddenly. Oh yeah, it did rain a couple days ago. Don't act like you don't remember, you big goof. You loaned me your umbrella and everything. I'll do it again if you need it tonight. I'll keep that in mind. I do have my own umbrella. I just don't think I, I just didn't think to bring it today. It's spring. Better safe than sorry. Yeah, that's true. We'll see what happens. Suddenly, Andrew started gathering his papers and putting them in a folder. Aw, oh, time to go already? Yep, working all day as soon as I get there. Eesh, take care, buddy. You too. See you later, one way or another. Yep. Done with your lunch, you set your plates aside and got ready to head out. But what to do today? Keep Andrew's company, hang out with Mark, walk with Mr. Parker, or just go home and spend a nice rainy day inside? Whatever I do, I should decide sooner rather than later. Starting today, you might get a chance to explore the place in certain way, certain days. How you spend your time will affect later choices, so spend your time wisely. Some events may be longer than the others, and it may change the accessible locations. Sometimes you'll be able to stay at home until evening. If you're feeling lazy, feel free to do so. Note that there are instances when you won't be able to roll back some time, so make sure you've saved your file before proceeding. Alrighty, we're gonna do exactly that. Okay, let's see... Bublix. Working at Bublix is probably boring, huh? I should keep Andrew's company. I can get some proper shopping done, too. If I can figure out how to do that. Ah, um, but I should call Mark and Mr. Parker first. I shouldn't leave them hanging. Man, those rain clouds are moving fast up there. I'd better either make this quick or hunker down inside. Welcome to Bublix. Hey again, Anders. You're in a good mood. Well, not really. It's just really slow here today. Good to see a friendly face. Oh, really? And after all that fuss about yesterday's shift? No one can predict these things. The few bunches of people that are here are huddled up in the food court. So I'm just standing here questioning my life choices. Whoa, that bad? Eh, no, just a joke. Seems to me like that was only half a joke. Huh. If my manager weren't close by, I'd take the time to draw a research or something. But I'm getting paid to stand here and do nothing, and if no one needs any, if no one needs any help. If no one needs help, huh? Ask him to help you shop. Well, as it so happens, I need your help right now, Mr... He spied his name tag as he grabbed a card. Mr. Anders. Huh. Okay, what do you need help with? Come help me get groceries. I don't know what to get. What do you need them for? To eat? What else? No, I mean... Never mind. Let's take a look around. Mm-hmm. Don't leave the register unmanned for too long. I won't. What kind of food do you usually get? Uh... At dawn, you just how pathetic your diet is. Well, my parents usually did the shopping, so I'm kind of at a loss for what to shop for myself. I see. I'm to keep it simple. Okay, now. How much money do you have to work with? Ah, I get money from my parents, so don't worry about costs. Really? Yep, I'm too clumsy and scatterbrained to hold a job. Well, they didn't say that to me exactly, but I can't exactly say they're wrong. I'm just taking classes and seeing what happens, I guess. Like, wow. Um, 
Something wrong? Are you okay with that? Your folks saying you can't get a job when you want. Well, it's not that I can't. They just don't. They just think it's a bad idea. If I really want to get a job, I don't think they'd stop me. I'd say... Ah, get out of my eye, you. I'd say you should have some work experience, definitely. How do you feel about working here? At Publix? At Publix. Uh... I consider it. It's a little too sudden, but I cer I'd certainly think it over. Understandable. I just wish we had. A, I just wish I had worked here longer so I could help you out. Working only four days isn't a good setup for recommending someone. But then again, there's no reason not to try. Um, appreciated, but let's not do that tonight at the very least. My nerves could. My nerves would get frazzled. All right then. Anyway, I think I need some good veggies. Might as well keep the trend going. I mean, eat what you want, but that's fine. If it's for every every day, then spinach and kale are good choices. Spinach and what now? And kale, soft leafy cabbage. Packed with nutrients. Plant looks like broccoli and lettuce has a head of child together. You find the kale in the produce aisle, and sure enough, ha! It totally does! It's a good replacement for lettuce if you eat a lot of that, a lot of sandwiches. A bit bitter, but mixing it with other stuff helps. I do at home. Oh, uh, my house. So lettuce is a no-go? Lettuce is fine, but it's mostly water. Vitamins from it can be gotten elsewhere, too. Alright, I'll give the kale a go. You put some kale bunches into your cart. Not sure about the spinach, though. I tried spoiled spinach once and... Ugh! Spinach is better raw or fried anyway. It's just a shame the stuff doesn't keep very well. I never had fried spinach. It doesn't? Unless you have a really good crisper drawer in a fridge, it starts to get slimy. Even if you do, some of the leaves start to get that way faster than you think. I'm not an expert, but that may be why a lot of people just boil it. Hmm. I'll just get a little bit... I'll just get a little bit then. See how I like it. Okay. He decided to pick up some carrots as well, since they could be eaten straight. You say you're not an expert, you're pretty knowledgeable about this stuff. Um, not really. I just noticed things about the vegetables I eat over the years. Hard not to, considering how often I eat them. Hmm, I guess I'm just ignorant then. That can be easily fixed. I th I think that'll do for the veggies. Alright, you know, water time. Hmm. All right, let's look at protein then. Yes! We seem to be getting stuff for quick meals you can throw together, so let's keep going with that. Sounds good to me. Mm, that looks good. I don't feel like burning down my kitchen, so this seems better. I take it you don't cook then. Um, it was a half a joke, really. I, I imagine I could learn. I'm in the same boat, honestly. Never found the time to learn. I'm basically helping you shop, by the, shop the way I would. That's okay, I'm excited to try what you suggest. I see. Anyway, can you eat dairy? Dairy's fine with me. I even drink bottled milk sometimes. Cool. I know some dogs and wolves can't handle that stuff. Yeah, I know someone from my dad's family who would get really sick if he tries to eat cheese. Your dad's family, huh? It's sad because he loves the stuff. Mom has to keep him from buying it whenever they shop together. Oof, that sucks. He says it's his, he says it's his, he says it's his expression doesn't change. I still haven't had a good handle on this guy. It's cool you know about that stuff, too. Are you taking health classes or anything? Um, no, I only learned about this stuff a couple days ago. That was, an, that was an odd pause. Did you think there was something embarrassing about what he said? Maybe he's just insecure. That's kind of cute. Did I say something funny? Ah, no, I... Walter, come on. Don't show everything you're thinking through your face. All right, y'all. All right, y'all, I'm going to pause it right there. Thank y'all so much for watching. Oh, I will see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye.